What is up, YouTube? It is Docky or Docky Style Gaming, and I am back at it again with another Godfall video for you all today. Now, like I said yesterday, we got a bunch of Godfall content to talk about because we just got some brand new gameplay footage thanks to all these people who got their hands on Godfall first, really the PS5, but got to play Godfall first this morning in Japan. And boy, did we get just about everything. I guess a lot of people have been asking for. We gotta look at the UI for your health bar, even the shield charge meter. We gotta look at our inventory for our character menu. We got to see two different boss fights, multiple cinematics, two new Valor plates, and so much more. So really, I'm just gonna start breaking it all down because we got a lot to go over with all of this new footage we got to see. So without further ado, like always, let's hop straight into all of this new info that we got. Now the mission that all the streamers got to play appeared to be the very first mission of the game because we actually got to see them go through the opening cinematics that we just got a trailer for a few days ago, but after the cinematics cut, they actually start into the main mission, which I'm assuming is the first mission because it's pretty much giving you a tutorial on how to use your abilities, weapons, and things like that. But here is where we finally get to see our UI or our HUD. And it's pretty streamlined for the most part, not too much screen clutter, and pretty much what I expected. Now starting with our character side of things, we have our green health meter, of course, and right underneath it is our Archon meter, which will fill up gold. The big diamond is your shield meter, which I'll be showing you right here. When you charge your shield, you actually see the shield icon start to fade down, and then once it releases, it'll start to recharge back up. We don't know if this applies to every single one of the shield attacks, or just the throw attack but for the most part it looked like it was just the throw and then under the archon bar we have two different icons now the one on your right is your banner icon which we don't get to see in any of this footage it's actually locked when you go look at the character menu which I'll get into a little later but then the one right next to it is actually a consumable icon which can be swapped out and again I'll touch on that when we get into the character menu now something else that I did see that kind of happened every once in a while was you do have a level bar or level meter that you get to see at the very bottom of your screen pretty much only pops up when you either level up or you're gaining XP and then of course we have our objective descriptions off to the left side of the screen now when it comes to enemies outside of getting to see quite a bit of different type of enemies in just this first mission alone we got to see a bunch of creature type of enemies we got to see gun or ranged base energies that actually have like shotguns which was pretty surprising we got to see of course our weapons or bladed based enemies and a lot more but their ui is pretty much the same thing or pretty similar they have their levels next to their health bar and then right underneath their health bar is their breach bar but then also right next to the health bar or what fills up right next to the health bar is the soul shatter meter as well and again that's pretty streamlined as well for the enemies also now when it comes to bosses that we got to see in some of this gameplay we got to see two so far we got to see a mini boss and then we got to see an actual big bad boss now in the gameplay footage the mini boss that we get to see luckily all of the dialogue was actually still in english but it had japanese subtitles so if some of the people weren't too too loud you could actually hear some of the dialogue and the first mini boss that you fight is actually trying to stop you from getting into the seventh sanctum which has been described as essentially your player hub and where all your valor plates are essentially going to be located at and we will get to see a little later in this video but when it comes to that mini boss his health bar is pretty similar to normal enemies although his is gold and his icon or his level icon has a bit of a different design next to it now later on in the mission you fight the big boss and his health bar is pretty standard it's at the very top of the screen you have a health bar and then you have a shield bar right underneath it and what's also interesting is you can soul shatter bosses as well because as we see in some of the gameplay footage the soul shatter meter actually starts to fill up right next to their health also and I must say that main boss fight was actually pretty dope just because of the multiple different boss mechanics within that fight alone he had different shield states he had elemental AI AOEs, he had a bunch of lunge attacks and even some aerial attacks as well so <laughs> watching some of these players dodge around and run around on solo was actually quite funny but I'm kind of curious to see how some of these mechanics will work if you're playing with it with multiple people now something else that we got to take a good look at was some of the loot chests 
chest. Now when it came to the chest, we pretty much got to see them open it up and drop all the different loot with the different rarity types of loot as well. Now so far we only got to see two of them, which is I'm assuming your common and your uncommon. One was white and then one was green. And then of course, where does all that loot go to? Your character menu, which I am glad to say that you can actually switch your equipment mid-mission. I always hate when there's certain looter shooters that restrict you from switching missions because once you start a mission, you're locked to those weapons or things like that. Well, in Godfall's case, you can essentially switch your weapons, augments, ring slots, and so much more mid-mission, which is actually pretty dope. You could kind of build on the fly. So I really like that they actually went ahead and did that because like I said, I know a lot of looter shooters. Some looter shooters really don't let you do that anymore, at least. I know that used to be a thing that used to be fine, but I know some looter shooters, once you start a mission, you are stuck with that gear until you get back to your base and then you can switch out your builds, loadouts, and things like that. But essentially, once in the character menu, we get to see just about everything. We get to see on the right hand side our stats for our characters, which starting out is pretty much five across the board in might, vitality, and spirit. But then if you look at the footage, when he equips a set of rings, it changes the stats drastically. So along with your weapons, along with your augments, rings also change your stats as well, which is pretty interesting also. But speaking of the ring slots, let's actually break down all these slots one by one. So starting at the top, of course, we have our two weapon slots. Then the row right below it, we have our amulet slot on the left and our shield slot on the right, which is actually very interesting because as of right now, it seemed like our shield was just gonna be something that everybody had. But with this, it looks like you'll either be able to equip maybe a different shield skin or potentially a shield ability. So I'm real curious to see what the shield slot can actually offer. But then moving to the row below that, we have our two ring slots, and then the final row, we have our consumable slot and our banner slot. Now, as I mentioned when I was talking about our UI, underneath the Archon bar, you can see two different icons. Now, one of the icons, like I said, is a consumable, which in the gameplay that we got to see, this one apparently gives you extra health because one of the players was about to die and he was able to pop the consumable multiple times to regen his health. And he was also able to pick up the consumables to refill it. Now, as of right now, it looks like three is the max you can hold, but it may potentially increase depending on your character level or something like that. Now, the next slot right across from it is the banner now again we didn't get to see any banner gameplay in this footage but we have seen it in action with some of the mesa footage which i'll show right here which is essentially mesa slamming down a banner it puts out a huge aoe she walks out of the circle and then back into the circle and it freezes all the enemies within it now we know that each banner can do something different we don't know how many banners are in the game or how we'll even be able to acquire them but it currently looks like they're potentially mission locked because again, this is the very start of the game and some of the things that haven't been unlocked are our banners, our amulets, and our extra shields as well. Now next, moving back over to the right side of the screen where our stats are, right underneath your vitality, might, and spirit stats, you have your current HP, and then below that you have your basic stat percentages. So pretty much you can see what each gear piece will do to each of your stats percentage-wise while you're actually building your character, which is actually pretty nice. And then of course, at the very top of the screen, all the way to the right, we get to see our character level and the amount of XP it takes to go to the next level. Now lastly, we'll talk about the combat, mainly because there's really nothing too new to go over, but the two things that we did get to finally see in action was our takedowns, which is gonna be your R3 ability, is how you perform a takedown, and then we also got to see status effects. Now, as I mentioned, the boss fight has multiple different boss mechanics, and one of them was this AoE fire circle that they threw on the ground and you actually got to see one of the characters when they went through it they had a status effect of fire and a countdown timer going down until that status effect worn off and then of course now again when it comes to your combat everything was pretty much the same we got to see a bunch of our dodges our blocks our parries we got to see multiple of the weapons and actions i think the only ones we didn't get to see in action was the great sword and the pole arms but we did get to see hammers in action we got to see dual blades in actions and then we got to see the long sword in action as well and multiple different gameplay footage 
footages because of the 11 different people that streamed like i said there was seven that actually played godfall so we got a bunch of different perspectives on how they played that first mission and some of them saved more footage than others so it was kind of nice to get to see everybody's different play style and every time you got to see something new it maybe came from a different stream or something that you didn't expect from one so even though there was pretty much the same mission it was almost always like you were still seeing something new or spotting something different in each one of the game boys now finally the mission ends with you in the seven sanctum in the hall of the valor plates essentially now once you're in there we get to see the last two valor plates that have yet to be seen now one clearly appears to be a blue female peacock type valor plate and the other eh, at the far left if i'm being real and i hate to do this comparison but really looks like mirage from warframe <laughs> i'm really not sure what it's supposed to be so let me know in the comment section what you think this valor plate's supposed to be it has a very human face so i'm kind of curious to see what type of zodiac it's supposed to be i mean hey maybe virgo eh, who knows but i do think it's a pretty interesting design and a very very unique one compared to some of the other more animal like designs that we've got so far in godfall and then of course the last thing to take note of and pretty much where the mission ends is there's these three huge mechanical and menacing faces that you're supposed to go interact with before the mission ends now sadly every single person who played this game didn't show any footage of you actually interacting with it but they do seem pretty interesting and i'm curious to see if they're going to talk back to you or if those characters are going to be playing something important plot wise in the game so let me know what you guys thought about all of this that we got finally some actual hands-on gameplay we got to look at the ui we got to look at our characters we got to look at the character menu the last two valor plays just pretty much a lot of stuff that i know people have been asking for multiple boss fights cutscenes. this is pretty dope for even just the first mission of the game so i'm glad that we got this and i'm pretty hyped so far from what all we've seen from today now hopefully we'll be getting some of this footage undoctored and in english so that we can actually see most of it because one of the scenes we do actually get to hear greyhawk talk and he sounds very young compared to even oren's voice so i think that's pretty interesting and i wonder if the character that's inside of the greyhawk valor plate is going to be playing some type of a bigger role story wise because it's kind of interesting that they decided to give some of the other characters voices so it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out so let me know again what you personally thought of this gameplay footage and who do you think that last female looking valor plate is what type of zodiac sign is this supposed to be and how do you actually think it looks because personally like i said it's probably one of the more unique ones because it is very human like compared to some of the animal ones so i kind of dig it but i'm super curious to see what type of zodiac it's supposed to be inspired by but i'm going to end it right here because i'm pretty sure this is going to be a bigger video than normal so thank you all for watching like always i hope y'all are as hyped as i was links to all my social media accounts are in the video description give this video a like if you liked it. if you didn't don't i am out of here guys thanks for the love thanks for the subs peace